Hey, it's Wabbit. Hope this finds you well. So Koala has a update out. Uh, it is now at the time of this recording version 1.4072. The previous was 1.4071, which I have here on the iPad on your left. And the newest update is on the right. Uh, I wanted to go over just a few items. Uh, the releases cover a couple other things. I should say, or the updates, I'm sorry. Uh, the AUV3 plugin is now free. Uh, it also fixed a bug where if you leave Koala open for more than 13 hours, it makes a weird noise. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that in this video. Uh, and then it adjusted the UI layout to accommodate newer iPhones. I don't use Koala uh, really on the iPhone, um, so I can't really uh, speak to that. But the three other ones that I want to talk about have to do with uh, the first one, multiple selection and modification, hold edit down and tap multiple pads. So let's go over to the older version. And let's say that uh, when I tap on edit, if I want to change the parameters of multiple uh, pads in the old way, I would either, uh, I can hold down the edit button and then tap one, make a change, do this here. I can't, you know, select multiple. So let's say I wanted to select, say, four pads, for example, and apply volume and pitch to each one. So let's go over to the new one here. If I go on sample and I hold the edit button down, when I tap all three at once, it says three pads selected, and then I can make my volume change, uh, pitch, etc., to all three of those. And then when I'm done, I can just tap out or tap on any other. Um, pad to exit um, that functionality. So that is uh, the one new feature uh, that's been added. Uh, the snapping sequence. So in the older version, uh, actually I can demonstrate it to you on this one here because I have a sequence popped in. So when I hit play on this particular sequence, and then when I tap over to the next one, it just immediately goes to the next sequence. So it's a timing thing that you have to get right as you watch the playhead. Now, if I tap on the BPM, let's go to the old one. There's this new thing here called sequence snap off. Notice it's not here. So when I hit that top down or drop down, I've got two options. I can do it on the beat, the bar, or sequence in. So now let's hit sequence in and let's hit play. We'll wait till the bar head gets to the beginning. You see it flash. So that makes it an easier transition for those of you that do any live performances or live jams. Uh, you're not trying to sit there and get everything timed up right. And then the last one has to do with uh, uh, added some MIDI mapping. So there's only two places that I can see uh, and again, I'm using the standalone version. I did mess around yesterday uh, with Koala and AUM. I, I saw a post where someone shared a screenshot of some additional mapping parameters. I couldn't find that. Um, but on the sample page, let's go here and let's go to settings, uh, MIDI, map MIDI. This is the old version. Let's go to the new one. The only difference I can see here is choke off can now be MIDI map. As you see, there's no option there. A uh, little side note, it's kind of weird. Now this shows here on the iPad mini. These weren't showing before, but you know, a little, little quirk there. Uh, and then the other one is on the sequence uh, and perform tab. So notice here on the BPM and metronome, you've got two uh, zones here you can MIDI map. So if I tap on that, Notice on here there's nothing, but if you tap on that, this drops down, and now you can do additional uh, MIDI mapping on the parameters here, and notice the metronome is now part of that. So uh, I don't see any difference on the perform. Uh, actually, I apologize. There is one, the hold. So the hold is now uh, on the new version. You can map the hold on the perform uh, yeah, so, I, so other than that, I don't see anything different here. Again, same thing with the BPM on this section. That's the same thing as well there. Um, the only other thing I would like to see is, I don't know if it's even possible, if you can MIDI map the different banks, you know, A, B, C, and D. 
so those have not been uh, MIDI mapped. I believe that's all I could find with that. So if you find additional um, other ones, um, then let me know. Here's one thing I want to point out that uh, a question that I want to kind of ask you uh, if you're seeing this, and it's happening on both um, older and, and newer versions. So I've got Koala loaded in AUM, and when I come into Koala, you can click on, let me use the pencil here, click on this little uh, MIDI control, and then there's this little icon here where you can use your, so I could go into Koala and MIDI map with inside of Koala. Let me back out of here and see what I'm talking about. So I can do here, settings, and then do my MIDI mapping within the app, or I can do it within Koala. And when I click on this, and it, this is where you have to move something to make it work, and let's, let's, for example, let's go to, uh, I don't have a sample on here, so let's back out. There we go. Okay, so let's come in here. So if I change this pitch dial or any of these, these should be MIDI map. So maybe that's just how it's been. I, I just hadn't seen that before. Um, and then also someone, I believe in that screenshot, they claim, they showed a screenshot where there were different parameters down here in the MIDI control and I'm not seeing it. So I just thought I'd throw that extra part in there for the AM users. Um, is that kind of how it's always been? This is my first time really trying to MIDI map within AUM. Outside of that, that's all I've got. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask or if there's something that I missed in this update that you found, especially with the MIDI mapping, please comment below um, so we can help others. All right, I appreciate your time. Be safe out there, keep your head on a swivel and until next time, Sissy Hoto.